Madison, Indiana, you'll definitely want to tour this beautiful home of James Lanier. And we have an opportunity to get a tour this morning. And um, we'll knock on the door and uh, see if uh, someone will show us around. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Lanier Mansion. Thanks very much. Jerry Riley? Right. So nice to meet, nice you. meet you. We appreciate your taking time to show us around. I'm glad to. Uh, first, I'd like to show you the portrait of, of James F.D. Lanier, the man who uh, built the home. And the home was finished in 1844. But uh, Mr. Lanier was a very prominent Indiana citizen during the 19th century. He did a lot of financial work for the state. But uh, he's best known for providing loans to the state of over a million dollars during the Civil War. And that helped the state get through the Civil War and helped fight for the Union. This is the dining room of the home. And you can tell one of the most uh, striking features in here is the wallpaper, which is a reproduction of a French wallpaper from the 1830s by the Zubert Company. And you can still buy it today, but it's very expensive. And it's a woodblock print uh, wallpaper. And this is the chinoiserie pattern, which is supposed to look like the French version of China in the 1830s. It's beautiful. What detail. Lovely colors. I suppose it's all hand painted and it's a woodblock print process where each, for each color, they have to run the paper through once. So there's like 50 some colors in here. Really, 50 mm -hmm. colors, amazing. Mm -hmm. And did the family eat in here every day? No, this would be more for more formal occasions. I see. They would eat in the, uh, what we call the breakfast room most of the time. Oh, charming. Now this is the uh, north parlor. And we also have, we have double parlors here, so we have a south parlor as well. And uh, one of the neat features in this room and in the south parlor as well is the uh, faux doors we have. I remember in the hallway on the other side of this door was Mr. Lanier's painting. And, and this so, is just for symmetry? For symmetry, and I think to make the room look grander with, uh, you know, the two doors makes the room look larger. It does look very grand. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. It has a nice warm feeling to it. Mm -hmm. And the great uh, Ionic columns, too. Of course, this is a Greek Revival home, so a lot of the features are uh, Greek features. And these are all made by hand, of course, yes, over right, 100 right. years ago. So this is the south parlor room? This is the south parlor, and we have it set up to be a room for where the family might uh, relax in the evening, listen to music. Uh, this is the library, and it's, again, a place where the family might read and relax. And an uh, interesting piece in here is the bookcase, which was owned by Mr. Lanier. Uh, we're not sure if it was in this home or in the home he had in New York. But many of the books in the bookcase did belong to him, and they're signed by him. Uh, one of the most striking features of the home is this spiral staircase. Um, Francis Costigan was the architect of the home, and he designed uh, features like this in his houses. Um, we're going upstairs to see the bedrooms. And there are four bedrooms up here? Uh, yes. And a couple of a study? Uh, an office and a sitting room. I see. We have this room set up to be uh, Alexander Lanier's room. He was the oldest son, and he would have been almost uh, 30 uh, in 1850. And actually, he never left the house. He lived here until he died in uh, 1895. Yeah, he finally, uh, he married late in life. And then his wife uh, inherited the home when he passed away. And then she sold it to uh, Charles Lanier, who was, you know, his brother. Going up to the third floor, which you'll see is dramatically uh, different than the first two floors. Much lower ceiling. Oh, this is a much lower ceiling. This must be about 6'4". Just about right. I think it's 6'3". This is the third floor of the, of the house, and this is uh, used as a bedroom or as a storage room. This is charming. I'll bet lots of children had fun playing on this. Yes, we don't know how many, but that's a rocking horse made before 1850. Jerry, this has just been fabulous. I love seeing this beautiful mansion. Thanks for telling us about it. We we're glad to have you and come back anytime. Yes, I'll recommend my friends come and visit Madison, Indiana.